G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Caitlin and I'm an American learning to live down under here in beautiful Sydney, Australia. I've done so many ranking videos, so many Australian food videos. I've done roses, I've done Tim Tams, I've done Bundaberg drinks, and today I am so, so excited to jump into a box of Cadbury favorites. I'm sure anybody who's grown up in Australia knows this box and I am so excited to try some of the candies that are on here. I've had a couple before, not gonna lie, I'll let you guys know which ones I've had before. And one of my favorite candy bars is actually in here as well. But today we are opening up a box of Cadbury favorites. Okay, it's already opened a little, but we are going to dive into this box and try every single Cadbury favorite candy in here. So I love Cadbury chocolate. I am so, so ready to go on this little sugar high, if you want to call it that. So grab a Bicky, grab a cuppa, or grab a Cadbury favorite, grab some chocolate, and let's jump right into the video. So for any non-Aussies out there, or for anyone who's lived under a rock, this box of Cadbury favorites has these small little individually wrapped candy bars, these little chocolate bars, and these are the perfect little treat. You don't get the full candy bar, you get just a little, little bit, which is perfect. So we're gonna go down the entire list, top to bottom, try these out, and hopefully they don't disappoint. The first one is this crunchy bar. It's a nice little thick bar. I've never had these before. I have a feeling this one's not gonna be my thing already. It's golden hokey pokey honeycomb, thickly coated in Cadbury milk chocolate. I gotta be honest guys, I'm not really a fan of honey or honeycomb. So just know that going into this and let's give this little guy a try. So definitely not my favorite, but it's very light. It's very airy. It has a good taste to it. I will say that even though I'm not typically a fan of honeycomb, this is actually pretty good. Like as far as rating this, I give this a solid like 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the Dairy Milk Caramello, which I think it's just regular milk chocolate and caramel. I don't think it's anything super unique. I've had this plenty of times before in the States, though I've had the Caramello Koalas. I keep calling them Caramel Koalas. The Caramello Koalas, which are also Cadbury chocolate. This probably tastes very, very similar. It's good. The caramel isn't super chewy, but it's not also really runny, really gooey. It's that perfect kind of consistency. But I'm not somebody who loves caramel and milk chocolate. If I do, it's typically like a sea salt caramel and then a dark chocolate. It has a little bit more of a balance. This is just so, so sweet to me. So for me, this is a 5 out of 10. So next up are these picnic bars, which I gotta be completely transparent with you guys. This is one of my favorite chocolate bars ever. I absolutely love picnics. I have like the little miniature 12 pack, so you get like 12 of these in a pack. I have a bunch of these in my fridge, so I already know I'm going to like it at least. But I mean, any excuse to eat a picnic. Like, seriously, the things I'll do for YouTube, I swear. So absolutely love picnic bars. 10 out of 10, no question about it. Absolutely love these. They're salty, they're sweet, they're crunchy, they're chocolatey. It's that perfect little bite of everything in the perfect amount. Next up we have these Moro bars, which I don't ever remember seeing in the grocery stores. And honestly, it could just be because there's so much stuff that I walk past it and never really notice. But this is packed full of caramel and nougat when then coated in Cadbury milk chocolate. So from the sounds of it, it kind of tastes like what we call a Milky Way bar over in the States. So caramel, nougat, and milk chocolate. I absolutely loved Milky Ways when I was a kid, so hopefully this holds up. So I gotta be honest, not comparing this to Milky Way just by itself, this is like sticking to my teeth. It is so thick. I feel like I need to brush my teeth after just taking one bite. It is stuck in my teeth. I can't seem to get it out. The taste is all right, but because it's so thick, it's really just unpleasant to eat. For me, this is like a 3 out of 10. Obviously, this is a classic. It's just dairy milk milk chocolate, which on the outside looks exactly like the dairy milk with caramello caramel that was in there. So I gotta be honest, I love, love, love 
Cadbury milk chocolate. But when you have it by itself like that, sometimes it feels like it's missing something, like you want something to go with it. You don't just want the chocolate by itself. So it's so, so good, you guys. But for me, it is an 8 out of 10. If I'm going for a chocolate bar, I want something that's just a little bit more than just chocolate. Next up, we have Boost, which I've heard of but never had. Smooth chocolate and biscuits center rolled in caramel and coated in Cadbury milk chocolate. So it's the same ingredients as a Twix bar over in the States, but let's see how it holds up. There's some weird aftertaste I'm getting with this. And I think it's from the biscuit or it might be the caramel. I can't quite tell. But the way American chocolate has a sour note to it, I'm getting a really sour note with this particular boost bar. I don't know why. It's just something that is like cloying in the back of my mouth. Weird sour taste, you guys. Not a fan at all. Two out of ten. Will not eat these again. You guys, it's time. You know how I feel about this. If you've seen my Cadbury Roses video, you know how I feel about like my arch nemesis, Turkish Delight. And on top of that, it's not even like it's roses. It's an actual like bar of chocolate. And I'm already not looking forward to this, but I did say I'd try them all and gotta do what you said you'd do. It's soap. It's chocolate covered jelly soap. Negative 100 out of 10. No, just no, never, no. So if you know the packaging, you can tell this is a cherry ripe. For some reason, the shiny red packaging, my camera just does not want to pick up on this at all. But it's cherries and coconut in old gold rich dark chocolate. So this is one of the few dark chocolate ones you'll find in the box. It is a nice dark chocolate. I gotta be honest with you guys though. This is just me. I hate the taste of cherry. I know I sound like the pickiest eater right now between not being a fan of honey, not being a fan of cherry, a hating Turkish delight, but not my thing. I just don't like cherries. But if you love cherries, this is probably a delicious chocolate bar. So because I don't like cherries for me, it's a 1 out of 10. But that's just me. I know so many people who love cherry ripes. Next up, we have the Cadbury Old Gold Bar, which you can find these all over the grocery stores. It is just a classic chocolate bar. This is also the only other dark chocolate bar that you get. So very similar to the Cadbury milk chocolate, it's just a solid chunk of chocolate. Obviously dark chocolate, not milk chocolate. So if you're a dark chocolate lover, you love just a chunk of dark chocolate. It's probably a very, very good bar. I'm just not a huge fan of just biting into a hunk of dark chocolate like that. So for me, it is a 5 out of 10. Now these I've had many, many, many times. Marcus sent me these in so many care packages and I love flakes. I remember when Macca's had them in McFlurries for a little while. Cadbury Flake McFlurries are so good. They need to bring those back, you guys. We need to start a petition because they are just amazing. What you'd expect, very, very crumbly. You have to be very careful eating these because it does get everywhere. But a solid 9 out of 10. I love the taste. I love the texture. The only thing is that I've had twirls, which is basically a flake wrapped in chocolate. And they're just that little bit better than a flake. So flakes are 9 out of 10. Even though they're not listed in this favorites, twirls are definitely a 10 out of 10. And last but not least are the Cadbury Dream Bars. This is the only white chocolate bar in the bunch. So just like the old gold and just like the Cadbury milk chocolate, you just get a chunk of chocolate in this. It's not filled with anything. So if you're not a white chocolate fan, this might not be up your alley. So even though I'm not the biggest white chocolate fan, I do actually really, really like this. Something about the taste and the texture kind of reminds me of ice cream. It's very smooth. There's a little bit of a vanilla-y taste to it. And overall, for a white chocolate, it is pretty good. So for me, this is a 6 out of 10. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button down below to join the little Ameristalian family over here. 
I post on Mondays and sometimes Thursdays about the differences between American and Australian culture and the overall process of learning to live down under. And if you haven't already, go check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I just started posting a little bit more on there and there's content on there that you will never see over here on YouTube. So go and follow me over there and join the growing Amer Australian family on those platforms as well. My name's Caitlin and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!